Hey everybody, this is Fadi and welcome to another episode of how to build and maintain a reef aquarium. In previous episodes, we talked about corals and their needs, and we talked about how corals use calcium, alkalinity and magnesium to build their skeletons. Then we talked about the different ways to test the tank parameters. After introducing the corals to the tank, they start to consume calcium, alkalinity and magnesium and other trace elements. Therefore, we will need to supplement these used up elements. Corals take a specific ratio of calcium and carbonate from the water to form calcium carbonate, which is used to build the coral skeleton. Reefers should use balanced calcium and alkalinity additive system. The most popular of these balanced methods are calcweiser, two parts, and calcium reactor. And today, I'll start talking about calcweiser. Calcweiser is the German word for lime water. It is a highly concentrated solution of calcium hydroxide in water with a high pH more than 12 pH. It's used to supplement calcium alkalinity and keep high pH in the reef aquarium. The calcium ions in the solution will supply calcium to the aquarium and the hydroxide ions will supply alkalinity. Corals consumes alkalinity as bicarbonate, not hydroxide. When calc is used in a reef aquarium, it quickly combines with atmospheric and dissolved carbon dioxide to form bicarbonate. The advantages of calc are it's easily available and less expensive than other supplementation methods. Raises pH for better calcification by corals. Calcways are reduces phosphate levels. It causes phosphate to precipitate out of solution as calcium phosphate, making it biologically unavailable for algae. Easy to use. Simply add the dry powder to water and shake. When the cloudy mixture settles, use the clear liquid as top of water, slowly drip the calc or dose it using a dosing pump or you can use in a calc reactor. On the other hand, calcweiser is a caustic alkaline agent so care must be taken while preparation of the solution and making certain not to inhale the dust. Calcweiser has a very high pH so it shouldn't be introduced to the aquarium in a large quantities or it will raise the pH to excessive levels and cause the precipitation of alkalinity and calcium and eventually crashing the tank. Calcweiser needs to be freshly prepared. It shouldn't sit for very long or it will interact with atmospheric CO2 and converts into insoluble calcium carbonate. Calcweiser solution should be prepared daily before addition to the aquarium. Because of the high pH level of the calcweiser solution, we can dose it directly to our aquarium. You can drip it slowly or add it to automatic top of water. However, the calcweiser is harsh on bumps, so the dosing pumps and the auto top of pumps will not last for long. In order to get most of your calcweiser solution, you need to dose highly saturated clear solution into your aquarium. Calcweiser reactor is designed to constantly mix calcweiser powder with incoming RODI water to maintain maximum concentration of calcium hydroxide at all time. The reactor will also ensure that only the clear solution is dosed to your aquarium and helps to eliminate any risks of accidentally adding the white residue that settles on the bottom. Calcweiser reactor is simply a chamber for mixing RODI water with calcium hydroxide. Fresh water is fed into the reactor via your ATO, dosing pump or gravity feed. Calcweiser powder is added inside the reactor and it's then mixed together with fresh RODI water. The clear solution that resides on top is then dripped into your aquarium based on your tank demands for calcium and alkalinity. The solution going to your tank will be always highly saturated with calcium hydroxide. That means that you will not be constantly worrying about precipitation and the amount of calcweiser to mix into your solution. The use of calcweiser is a very good method for supplementing calcium and alkalinity for small to medium consumption reef aquariums. In most cases, using calcweiser alone will not be enough to keep up with demand of aquariums filled with many SPS corals with high calcium and alkalinity consumption. Still, it can be helpful to use with other calcium and alkalinity supplementing methods like calcium reactors. Systems running calcium reactor usually have lower pH values. So combining calcium reactor with calcweiser will offset the pH lowering effect of the calcium reactor. As we said before, pH tends to drop at night when the lights are off. So you can dose calcweiser at night to boost pH values. In addition, and before we finish this episode, I'll show you some corals that we added to Honey's tank.
and I am also adding these three new fish to my aquarium. I bought them first in social acclimation box. That's it for today. Next week, I'll talk about the second method of supplementing calcium and alkalinity, which is two-part system. Thanks for watching and see you soon in the next episode and don't forget to hit the subscribe button.